All right, next subject, though. Let's get it to Wiz Khalifa. Because Wiz Khalifa dropped some company. game, but I think it's more context. He didn't put enough of the game in the content itself. He just gave you a, a touch of it. We're going we're gonna to unpack this because artists, I've seen more and more artists think this way. He's one of the fewest, fewer artists that I truly feel like, hey, he living his best life. Yeah. I see Wiz. I'm like, yo, Wiz living good. I forget about him. And then I come back and I'm like, yo, Wiz is... They all healthy and shit. Yeah, dude, <laughs> healthy dude. Look like he not in the drama and the, the headlines. So let me play this clip. Uh-oh. And I don't even have to physically show up for so if I have companies that I don't have to physically show up for like, that are bringing me millions of dollars, with that. I can spend a ton of time with my son. You know what I'm saying? Passive income. I worked income. for that. Yeah, I, I afforded myself that. And I made sure that, you know, I, I made that comfortability for myself. A lot of people don't think about that shit. They just mm. think money, 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 show, 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 blah, blah, blah. But or my All right. Now. First thing I think is important to to note about this, Wiz Khalifa is talking about, oh, I own all these businesses, I'm investing things, I don't have to be there. We we are familiar with the concept of passive income. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? What is Wiz a part of? Because you don't ever hear it. You hear Jay Z announcing all these deals and making PR. So I looked up a couple companies. All right, Wiz, you go to Crunchbase. All right, one company in this portfolio here is called, let's see, where'd it go? No, they only got them under one company. Personal investment. There we go, Liquid Death. What? Yes. What? Yes. I did not know that. I had no idea either. That's crazy. Liquid Death. If y'all ever had Liquid Death, Liquid Death is some water and actually... If you know what liquid death is, it makes all the sense in the world. It makes all the sense in the world that uh, Wiz Khalifa is invested in it. I just got on the liquid death wave like two weeks ago. Because that regular water is disgusting. Their sparkling water, the best sparkling water. I haven't had their sparkling water. I've I've seen you with it before, though. Like I I thought it was the regular, though. Nah, hell no. The regular water is gross, bro. But the sparkling, amazing. But S tier. S tier sparkling water. I'm gonna have to check that one out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out. So Liquid Death is one of them, right? Crazy, and obviously, why does he need to be there? Wiz probably wouldn't even know what to do if he was there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a business he put his money into. Um, right investors make sense for your brand. All the sense in the world. See another brand that he's a part of. Yeah, I saw some kitchen. Rap star Wiz Khalifa has invested in PFL MMA and will serve as an advisor to the fight firm. Oh, that's fine. Yes. Okay. Professional Fighters League. And they're making real deals. It's a it's a league. Again, they, they have MMA. But um, I, I, there was some big fight that I saw that they were trying to get the contract for. I wish I could remember who it was. It would be like a set. It might have been like Jake Paul or something like that, trying to get his fighter signed, Jake Paul or, or Logan Paul. Oh, okay. I think it was something like that. Right, but yet another thing, put his money into makes sense for his brand. He can be present, but he doesn't have to be involved in the day to day. It's more him being him. I get it. I love it. See, yeah, it. he just advising, bro. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a couple phone calls a month. Exactly. <laughs> now we can go to the core competency. Yeah. Taylor Gang Entertainment. Yeah. All right. Well, of course, that was one of his first. That was the business that you know he ran business for himself through that as an artist. Who were there? Uh, who was there? contract with because didn't they have some kind of jv or still have a jv probably i don't even know i ain't even about to my instincts say interscope but i don't let's even know. see independent record label so his his independent record label which i didn't either i didn't know or i forgot that burner was involved in that which is crazy considering that burner has the like damn near billion dollar weed company at this point yeah uh, let's see. He had Juicy J, right? But he, he had his own indie record label. Where and a lot of times, a lot of people and artists y'all assume that the artist is going to be the active person when you sign to their label. But typically, they're just offering you their resources. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's you, the reality. You lucky they even know what the fuck going on. Yes, you are lucky. <laughs> you are, you lucky, are lucky, bro. <laughs> because if it's an active artist, they do not have time. Yeah. To be the business person for you. Yeah. So. The benefit is there should be some level of competency for within that artist team because obviously they know how to make moves for that bigger artist. 
here's the other problem. I'll throw this in there, though, even though this is an, a, a, the main game that we're trying to talk about in this segment. Artists have completely different resources, right? So you think about a manager. What was the surprise when we first started like leveling up and having all these clients where they have a big artist, right? As their this manager has a big old artist, they make however many millions, yet they have this other artist that has a budget of what was that one five thousand yeah, dollars for a year? For a year, bro. And you're like, yo, but this person also manages who I want to say. Let's just say this person manages Glorilla, Buster Rhymes, and Drake. and Drake. Yeah. And literally, it could be those three. And this other artist that they have will be a $5,000 budget for the year. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that each individual artist is their own individual business. So it's not like a regular business where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put my resources and financial capital and reinvest. They're going to flip resources that they have from the relationships they built with Drake, Mm -hmm. Busta Rhymes, Glorilla, and then try to flip them for you into your business and grow it that way. But if you think about it, oh, I made money from my business with Drake. Drake would be like, what the hell are you doing putting my money into this nobody artist, yeah, right? Yeah. Or a somebody artist. It could be, you know, let's say the weekend. Like, why are you taking my money and <laughs> investing it over there? It's not that way. The manager itself is his own company. He's making commission through each artist, right? Or royalty, whatever y'all deal is set up, right? But it's not the same company. And I think a lot of artists... Or people who are trying to go work for people, and obviously the agencies like like us, right? You had you go through that initial shock without understanding that these are all separate entities, and just because someone has a big artist doesn't mean any of that applies to the other artists. Yeah. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Back to Wiz. Let's go run through a couple of these other businesses. Gage Growth Corp and Wiz Khalifa's Khalifa Kush announced a partnership. So the Khalifa Khalifa Kush is, is doing quite well. I didn't know that Wiz Khalifa had a restaurant. It's probably out of one of those ghost kitchens. Mm-hmm. All right, but he has the hot box that's company. Called, okay, I was say it's called hot box. That's why. Yep, hot box. And right now it's only in New York, right? But it's yet another business that's extension of his brand. Ninety nine so, point. Look to me, I think it's interesting to hear people talk that talk. Oh yeah, you gotta you know be an entrepreneur, flip your money somehow. And then it's nice to talk the talk that, oh, passive income, da, da, da. But it's more interesting to get an understanding of like, all right, what businesses are you running, bro? Where are you investing your money? And then do you have a strategy on how these things connect? Yeah. I don't need to know everything. You know, if you feel like there's some sauce or whatever, I don't need to know the sauce, but like, what's your overall thinking? Oh, I want to have things that are connected to my brand and make sense. So it's an extension hot box, right? Oh, mm-hmm. Khalifa Kush. Oh, okay, I get it. So the MMA thing. The MMA. He started yeah. doing all the workouts and being okay. It makes sense, right? Versus someone else might be saying, I'm trying to find things that have nothing to do with my brand and I'm going to just do real estate and go super hard in real estate. Like, want to hear your strategy. And I feel like that's something that we need to make happen. Yeah. We need to have more conversations or like when we start interviewing people and get into that space, that's something that we want to get into and dig into. Yeah, we should ask every single person, yo, what, what, what other businesses you got? What other businesses you got? What Still, you doing with yeah. it? Because sometimes I really do hear about some like really interesting stuff. Very interesting. And you're like, oh shit, bro. I yep. never, like that'd be artists at surface level, but you just think they're like, I hate to say it, but you just think they're like dumbasses. You know what I'm saying? Or just or whatever. <laughs> and then you learn about them on the back end. They're like, oh, I do this and this and this. And I'm running this. You're like, God damn, bro. Yeah. Why don't you talk about that more? Exactly. You know what I'm so I don't think that you're a dumbass, you know, but 
<laughs> I get it. You know, sometimes dumbassery is the game. I have to look like a dumbass so people. That is true. You know, I throw them off my scent. They don't know that I'm moving like I'm moving. That is that is true. That is that's true. Yeah, it is what that's it true. is. <laughs> <laughs> like ah, I got you. Aha, uh-huh. got you. Got you. so. I think that's a game within the game, mm. and. You know, a lot of times people do think, oh, this person is just moving and making all this money off of music. And sometimes that person might be 20% music. Yeah. <laughs> but it goes back to like the three or five year thing we said about. Yeah. But really, like, what I've kind of seen is like most of the bigger artists try to like cap enough in that three to five year window to have enough money to go start making money somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So like, I need to collect all the chips while this shit's going my way and start redistributing them into some other shit before, you know, my stock starts to plummet. Cause exactly. I mean, Wiz still streams like great. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he still gets a great Crazy. show price, but it probably ain't shit. Liquid Death alone, bro. It probably ain't nothing close to that, bro. Oh, and then the weed shit, cause he was really early to the whole like weed business thing. So mm-hmm. I can't even imagine just like how that's grown and what connections he made in that world since. You know, so yeah, that's how crazy. often do you hear about Wiz Khalifa? Every maybe like every four or five business months. The business month thing? Yeah. Maybe every four or five business <laughs> months. Hey, we making it. <laughs> and, and it's always good stuff. It is always good stuff. Yeah. You don't really hear about crazy drama, all the extra stuff. He looks in this good mood. We open up talking about him like that. Yeah. Because that shit is doing well. Yeah. And I don't have to be here on tour crazy just to get along. That's what he said. That was the whole point of everything. Bro, the yeah. lifestyle that I want to live is more time with my son that really matters to me there's certain levels of ability that was required i can't always be traveling but you could very well say i want to be on the road all the time most of those people haven't been on the road enough mm-hmm. to know that you that's don't want to be on the bro. road all the time just about so but like i think that's the um important part about it too is just when you especially when you start strategizing about where you want to go with things like what lifestyle do you want to live mm-hmm. of course you can be rich, but there's different types of rich. Yeah. Like, and yeah. we've seen it. And you can get your money in different types of ways. Yeah. Pick your poison. What problems you want to deal cement with? Niggas. You said who nigga? Them cement niggas. <laughs> I ain't never gonna let that go, bro. That shit. That shit. That shit, that shit is crazy. <sighs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh yeah, because we were talking about the bricks. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm never letting that go. Like, I'm yeah. in the wrong business. 